Hello everyone, it's Pradil Patak this side and watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, this is the second tutorial in our Aero Blasters game development series with Python and PyGuru. And in this tutorial, we are going to implement a scrolling background for our game. See, for this, uh, what you have to do, you have to just go to your folder Aero Blasters and you have to create a new folder here. Uh, the folder name will be Assets and inside this you have to keep all your images. Okay, so just check out the video description of this. Uh, video sorry the description of this video and you will find a link for my github page you just download the entire uh, uh, there will be a download link and you have to just click it and it will download all the assets for you and then just copy paste all these assets in the assets folder that's all you have to do okay uh, the next thing is that i want is i want to keep uh, my main file separated from the rest of my things see we have multiple things in our game like we have these enemy planes these choppers these player planes and this background is scrolling background i want to keep all these things separated from my main file my main file should only be uh, caring about running the game okay and how these things are being uh, uh, how these things are working uh, our main game do not have to worry about it okay so what i will do i will simply create a new file here just create a new file and you can give this uh, file name as object.py okay so it will create a new file for us object.py remember uh, create it in the same folder okay uh, the next thing is uh, what we want is uh, let me just first show you how can we uh, display uh, image as a background in our game so let me just remove this thing okay we do not need it and instead of blue you can pass white here okay so uh, here i will simply type images and let's load the image as a background and so uh, it on our window so i will type bg equals pygame see if you want to load any image in pygame you type pygame dot image dot load and then the location of your image my uh, image is inside the assets folder and then the name of my image is bg dot png uh, the next thing is uh, see uh, in the assets folder bg dot png the width and height of this bg is uh, 1080 by 2400 but uh, but our window is smaller than this okay so what I want is I want to resize my image uh, as per my window. So in order to resize it, you could type pygame dot transform. Okay, this is again a module and it contains a method is scale. Here uh, the first element it takes is the image that you want to resize. Our image name is B. Okay, here and then the width and height. So I want to resize it as my as per my uh, game window. So my game window width is. Uh, 288 and height is stored in the height variable as 512 pixel. That's all we have to do. Uh, the next thing that you have to do is just come here and here you have to type win dot blit. Uh, again, it takes two things first the image and then the position where you want to show your image. In Pygame, displaying an image is known as blitting. Okay, so this is the method blit that we can use in order to display our image. So the first argument is the image that you want to show and then the position. I want to show my image at 0, 0. If I just run this, you will see my image will be shown. So this is my image or background image which is being shown. Okay. Again, this is a white border that we have implemented here. Okay. Uh, now what I want is I want to scroll this image. So in order to do this, what I will do, uh, see uh, there are multiple ways by which you can achieve this scrolling effect for your background. The one that I can think of is this. I will keep two images first this image and I will keep an image here just below our window and then I will move these two images above okay this will move above and then the bottom image will move above too when this image reaches this point what I will do is I will just keep this movie image uh, here down I will just bring this image to the down and the down image will move above okay so it will give us a scrolling effect for our image now let's see how can we implement it i hope you have a basic idea we will be having two images first is this one and then this uh, there will be one more but it will be at the bottom of our window it will not be shown initially but when this move image moves above and goes here we will just make it uh, move down and the next one image will keep moving upward just like this so let's see how can we do it for coding this i'll just write it inside this file uh object.py okay so import pygame uh, the next thing that we want is uh, we want this line screen equals width comma height because we need these variables okay uh, the next thing is I'm just going to uh, put this inside a class 
well type class background okay now uh, here you can pass uh, empty parenthesis okay and here we will type depth in it in any class the first thing that is there is is this function or uh, this is known as constructor function and in python it is defined as in it underscore underscore in it underscore underscore okay the first argument it takes is a self value remember whenever you create a uh, class just pass the first argument as self uh, my window uh, this background class will take one more thing that is window this window will be th the thing where we want to show our image uh, this will be simply this win variable okay and nothing else we will make a copy of it self dot win equals win now the next thing that we want to do is we need to cut this thing from here and paste it here okay that's all and instead of bg i will simply type here as self dot image okay i want to change my image name self dot image that's all we have to do now in python uh, of every image you can extract a rectangle uh, what is a rectangle basically a uh, rectangle is simply a rectangle around our image and if you want to move your image you can just simply move that rectangle and image will be automatically moved in order to get the rectangle of our image we have to first type cell dot text this is our rectangle name you can give this any name okay and then you have to type cell dot image dot get rect okay you have to just type this thing and it will uh, give us the rectangle of our image and now if you want to move your image you can just add something to the x and y position of this rectangle and our image will move automatically uh we will make a, a variable here cell dot move equals to it means our image is moving and here i will do one more thing i will create another function depth reset okay and again this method will take the self argument uh, okay and here i will create few variable self dot x equals 0 uh it means i want to show my image at the uh, from the width or uh, for the x position of my image will be zero and since we have two images uh, we will define two y variables self dot y1 equals zero and self dot y2 equals minus height okay that's it uh now what this means is we have a image uh at one at the window and one above window okay uh instead of below window you can just put it about if you want that's it uh so here i will call cell dot reset now if you do not if you are not able to understand it don't worry uh i will explain uh, it in a minute when we will move it okay so here we will create one more function that is the update again it will take a self where self argument and it will take a speed variable this speed variable will be integer value and it will uh, be responsible for the speed of our background image movement uh, here i will type if self dot move it means if the self dot move variable is true why we need this because we do not want to move our background every time we want to move it only when the game is running and let's say we are at the menu position and this uh, we are displaying the background we do not want to move it okay so that's why we are uh, we have typed here if self dot move equals to if you want you can simply type equal to but this statement also means if self dot move is equal to two okay what uh, we will do is we will add this speed variable to the y one position of our image and the y two position of our image two okay that's all we are doing it uh, see there are two images the first image y coordinate is this self dot y one variable and the second image coordinate y2 uh, is y2 variable okay we are doing this now here we will type if self dot y1 is greater than equal to high okay what we will do is self dot y1 equals minus height okay uh, wait a second okay before moving further there is a basic concept that i want you to know is see Uh, whenever we move forward what we see is that the road or the path where we are moving is moving backward okay when we are moving forward the road is moving in the forward direction and backward direction okay that's what i want to implement in my game now see there are two things uh, let's say our player is moving in the forward direction and you want to move this uh, background in the forward direction too 
but that will not look cool. Instead, what I want is our move, player is moving forward and this background is moving toward the downside. So what I will be doing is I will keep an image in the uh, window and I will keep an image at the above window. Okay. Instead of bottom of the window, I will keep an uh, image above the window. Okay. And then this image will start moving downward since we are adding the speed variable to the y1 position of our image. And when this image reaches to the bottom, we will just change this position and will keep uh, it at the top of our window. And the next win image will keep moving uh, downward. And when it reaches top here, uh, we will keep it at the top. Okay, so this cycle will keep repeating and we will get the scrolling effect. So that's what we are writing here. If cell dot y1 is greater than height, currently cell dot y1 is zero. And since some speed is being added to it, when it reaches this position, we will simply keep it at the top of our window. That's it. Okay. And we have to do the same thing for our y2 position too. Uh, so that's it that we have to do in order to make this scrolling effect. After doing this, all you have to do is you have to display our image. Now see, to display the image, we have written this uh, a line here. So let's just copy, cut it and paste it here. Okay, uh, though we have to change few things here. So let me just copy it and paste it here. Here we have to first type the self. Okay, since we have made the copy as cell dot win, uh, cell dot win dot blit. Okay, it's looking fine. Uh, the next thing that uh, we want to do is uh, the change the image name. It will be cell dot image. So self dot image and then the position. Here instead of zero comma zero, uh, I want to pass a uh, first position as cell dot text and the second position as cell dot y. Now here it will be y one and here it will be y two. See we are. Uh, displaying both the image uh, by uh, at once okay both the images uh, together <clears throat> but only one will be at appearing inside the window and one will be outside of the window so since we have implemented it all we have to do now is it to show in on our window or use it in our main.py file again see i have put all this code inside a class so that our code can be reusable you can use this code whenever you are creating a new game and you want this vertical scrolling background effect okay after doing this uh, you just have to come in the main.py file and here you have to type from objects import background okay that is our class name and objects is our file name okay and then you have to create an object of our class so instead of images let's say objects here i'll type bg equals background and I will pass an argument as window since our argument, uh, our object is, uh, sorry, background class is taking the window as an argument, okay. Finally, the, uh, the only thing that you have to do is you have to call bz.update method here inside our main loop. And again, it takes a speed variable, okay. You can pass the speed as anything. I will try passing 3. So let's just run this game and let's see what happens. Here we will say our game will run too fast. See, though we are passing 3, our game is running too fast. So, what we have to do is, we have to slow down our game a little. Currently, our game is running as fast as it can. Uh, now, I want to limit the game speed. So let's see how can you do it. It's very easy. All that you have to do is, uh, you have to limit the frames per second or FPS of our game. Here, you have to type clock equals pygame, uh, sorry, pygame dot time and dot clock. Okay, if I remember it correctly, uh, clock, let me see, yes, clock, and here you have to create a variable FPS, and here you have to pass the frames per second. See, for obvious, uh, generally the frames per second is 30 for most games, you can pass is as much value as you want, it should be a easier value, okay? so I will pass 30, but since I am recording this uh, game tutorial, my window or uh, my screen recorder will pass, I do not want that, so I will run my game at a lower speed at 24 frames per second okay so 24 frames will be executed in one second now see here the game uh, uh, the speed of our background is currently 3 and we are passing fps equal 24 so in one second our background will move 24 multiplied by 3 pixels okay so keep this thing in mind and that's it and all that you have to do is you have to uh, call this method here clock dot tick and you have to pass fps here now our background will move at a slower speed okay Yes, so now it looks more cool. Okay, so this is it for this tutorial guys. In the next tutorial, we will implement our player. 
so that is it for this video guys if you love this video leave a like or a dislike subscribe it thank you see you in the next tutorial